11.4 B dimensional analysis, multi-step conversions. If we do not have the correct conversion factor, we convert using multiple conversion factors. So let's take a look at that. So in our first example here, we want to convert feet to meters. Well, I don't have a conversion factor for feet to meters. Um, I have a conversion factor for feet to inches, and I notice that in our metric and English conversions, we have one inch to 2.54 centimeters. So we're going to start with feet, our one foot equals 12 inches, and then we're going to use our one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. And then I have that 100 centimeters is one meter. We come up with these by, I think you think of as being as following a trail. Feet is what we started with, and then we go from inches here and then from inches equals centimeters and from the centimeters we're going there and it gives us the last thing of meters. If these don't connect up you don't have the right conversions. So you need to make sure that these all connect up just like this in order to get where you need to go. So we start with what we're converting which would be the five feet. We'll put that over one we use our first conversion that has feet in it. So we'll put our feet down below because we have feet on the top. 12 inches goes above. Feet over feet is one. We look at our next conversion that has inches in it. We have inches on top, so we want inches on the bottom. And that means the 2.54 centimeters goes up top. So inches over inches is one. And then on our last one, we want to use our conversion with centimeters in it. We have 100 centimeters. And we put 101 meter up top. Centimeters over centimeters is gone. So everything in top is multiplied. Everything in the bottom is divided. So we have 5 times 12 times 2.54 divided by 100. We always just ignore the ones because they don't make any difference to our calculation. Okay, when I enter that in the calculator, I get that we have 1.524, and we use our unit that we have up here, and this is will be meters. Let's look at our second example. We want to convert miles to yards. Well, the only conversion I have for miles is that one mile whoops, equals 5,280 feet. Well, then I have a conversion that says that three feet equals one yard. So we started with miles. We went to feet, and then the feet takes us to yards to get where we're going. Okay, let's put it to work. We start with the three miles. We put that over one. Put our first conversion factor in. And miles needs to go on the bottom. So our 5,280 feet go up top. And put in our next conversion factor. We have feet on top, so we want feet on the bottom for this one. Put one yard up top. So the feet over feet is gone, miles over miles gone, and we're left with yards. So we're going to take 3 times 5,280 divided by 3. And you're going to get 5,280 yards.